Hey everybody, Eric here. Today I'm looking at Metro Exodus some more. In this video, I am covering Chapter 3, The Volga, where to find all the postcards, and where to find all the diary entries. First thing I'm going to start with is the postcards. The first one is in the old church. Keep in mind, you can miss this one. If you don't get this one while you're here, and this is one of the first things you do in this map, then you can't come back and get it. Some of these other items you can go back to. A lot of these areas you can, but this one you cannot. If you miss this one, it's gone. Where you want to look for it is on the second floor. Look for a ladder. The leads up. There it is. Kind of looks like a barracks kind of area. The sleeping area. Yep, we're in the church. And it's right there. That is postcard number one for this area. So the next one is you get sent out to meet Crest. And he lowers down this bridge. The next one is in his house. Like his little domicile that he's made on top of this big crane. This one you can return to. So if you miss it, you'll be okay. So just go down to his little safe house. And near the door that leads to the zip line, you'll find the next postcard. Right here. All right, postcard number three is when you're following the road leads down to the raised bridge, like that's past it, you'll find this trailer. Kind of a caravan looking thing. Yeah, it's got this green door. Open it up and there's another one. Well, okay. Actually, that's a note. There's the postcard. Next postcard is over by the train tracks. It's on the eastern edge of the map. At least this big old facility. It's like the train maintenance area or train maintenance yard or something. It's a main mission. You need to come over here and get the train car. But before doing that, go inside the safe house and there's a postcard here. The last postcard is very, near the very end of your time in the Volga. This is when you're going to lower the bridge. This is right on top. This is during the... Like the sermon. You don't have to sneak through it like I'm doing here, but it doesn't help. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> it does help, and it doesn't hurt. So yeah, find that lock gate. You're shooting this place up or not, doesn't really matter. That's the way you want to be going. If you've got the eagle eye, then you can see it already. Probably looking at that postcard right now. It's right in front of us. I don't want this postcard. I don't want that nice straw hat. Actually, that's not a hat. <laughs> it's like a bowl for cooking. Like a skillet. Alright, but that's all five postcards for the Volga. Next up, I'm doing the diaries. And there's quite a bit more diaries. So this will take a little bit longer. So 
So this is after leaving the... Where is this actually? Okay, yes, this is, this is after leaving the church. But there it is. There's this camp, there's a bunch of dead mutants, weird crawdad things. You'll find it here. Yeah, push these dead goobers aside and collect their stuff. Okay, the next one is when you're going towards where Crest is. You have to go through this broken building. This is a mandatory thing you have to do to reach Crest. All you want to do is go down here, break open this gate, take out this Zambambo, the ghoul, the ghouly fooly right here. Get through some of these weird traps, bomb plants. There it is. It's over on this shelf. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, in the facility all up and around Crest, where all the Zambambos are. All right, now this next one is in like the nuclear bunker thing. I don't know, it's like the the waste storage area where you need to rescue Anna. This is also another story required thing, so. That's young. You're gonna come here eventually. Now you'll find this one in a locked room. Yep, yeah, right here. Just shoot off the lock and Bob's your uncle, you're good. Or you can just punch it off too. Yeah, some uh, weapon upgrades as well. So that's not too bad. If you don't care about that, here's what you really want. More notes. It's like, get that those weapon upgrade parts out of my way. I can get these notes. I don't have time for that. Writing something in my journal. Yoink. There we go. That's the next one. Diary 4 is basically when you get to the open area of the map. This one you can find in the shipping container. It's near the center of the map. I'll show you pretty quick. Yep, there we go. It's kind of to the north. But it's just in this random, unassuming shipping container. Yeah, if you see a bunch of spider webs and glowy green moss, weird mushrooms, and you're in the right place. There's a couple of goodies in here. And there is the next note. You want to call it a diary. It is considered a diary entry, but it's a note, what that specifically is. But you add it to your diary. So diary number five is an abandoned camp. It's east of where the container is. So it's kind of northeast of the map section. It's a fairly large little facility over here, and it stands out. You got to sneak through it or bust your way through it. And you'll find it on a table. It's a pretty distinct table. Here we go. The dead chicken on it. Skin and ready to go. That chicken looks good. I'd eat that. Diary 6. Okay, this is following the road towards the raised bridge. You can find a trailer over here. This is the exact same one, because I actually showed this already. This is the same one with the green door. 
There's a postcard in here, but there's also a diary. There's a note. Okay, this one is by the gas station. Yeah, it's over here. It's specifically pointed out to you at, certain, at some point in the story, but it's just right inside. It's not hard to find. Well, okay, all of these are kind of hard to find if you don't know where to look for them, but if you know that they're here, then that helps out a lot. All right, now we're going to go west of the gas station. This is south of the uh, main train tracks. This is a burnt out van in this middle of this field. Yeah, see, south of the train tracks. It's not much over here, but there is a note. This one is easy to miss. All right, now we're going to do some really annoying ones. Some ones you have to take a boat to get to. This first one. Let's just jump in. There's like a small island in the middle of this lake over here. You have to take a boat to reach. There's no other way. There's not much on it, but there is a diary page at the center of it. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. If you don't know where a boat is, then check your map. It marks where boats are. There aren't that many in this environment. So once you recognize where one is, it's marked on your map, then you're probably going to be stuck with using that one. I was hoofing all over the damn place trying to find a boat. Eventually we did, but it's a pain. Don't try to find new ones. Probably better just to stick with what you have, if you can, get to this area. There's one more after this. We have to take a boat. It's not much better. Yep, but there's a note. Right smack dab in the middle by this dead guy. All right, so this one is southwest of the gas station. Yeah, that's far down. Look at this house over here. It's locked up. There you go. All right, just go out there. This one it requires a boat. I'll show you where it is on the map, but it's inside this sunken house. There we go. That's pretty noteworthy. And if you look out with your binoculars, this will be marked. It's the one that's just in the middle of the water. And there's really nothing else in it. Yeah, among all the uh, random detritus and signs of devastation who do we really want to note all right here's number 12 this one's in the destroyed terminal there's a spot where you can climb up yeah it's the one that takes up this whole area look for a spot to climb up there we go I do a little parkour, find this ladder. And there it is. Yep, 
They get some sniper weapon parts, so it's it's all a win-win. It's good stuff. All right, this one is further along in the game. This is in the massive, like, the weird fish house place. It's where the train car is. Get through the end of it. This is right at the end. And find the room where it makes so it turns the train car tunnel thing. Make it so the, the tracks are properly aligned so you can get the train car out of here. Look in this room. This has the next diary entry. Pretty noteworthy room with the weird green glow and the, the boats and stuff. There it is. And we're moving on to the next part, and I'll finish this one up. Next one's going to be probably the biggest area in the whole game, and it's going to be the longest one of these videos. So, if you found this one helpful, then please like and subscribe. Otherwise, take it easy. I'll see you next time.